What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on the channel, welcome to Small Feet Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Now, last week I gave y'all an early look at the Hat Club Super Bloom collection. That was the first three colorways that dropped on Saturday. I'm gonna give y'all a quick review for the people who might have missed that video. If you did, definitely check it out. I will link it at the end of this one. Now, someone told me that these were all sold out this morning in the comment section, but I did check the website and there are very few sizes left of select teams. So if you're still thinking about picking one of these up, here's the khaki and wild mustard yellow. Go ahead and do that before they actually are all sold out. Here's the navy with the orange UV. That's a nice one. And here is my personal favorite, the olive and icy. I actually wore this one when I went food shopping the other day and I got a lot of compliments. It's a really strong colorway. I cannot say that enough about this one. Looks good in hand. It looked really good when I was rocking it. And for those of you who hit me up in the DMs privately to ask how I really feel about the extra embroidery and what Hat Club did this time around, a couple of flowers are not gonna stop me from getting off a good fit. But as I always say, buy the hats that you like. In hand, I like these a lot more than I expected, but that is just my opinion. Now that our little recap is out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the early look that I have for y'all today, which is the fourth colorway from the Super Bloom collection. Yes, this is a Diamondbacks. Y'all are seeing it live in 4K. This is a Diamondbacks. My very first Diamondbacks that I'm adding to the collection, Hat Club, Super Bloom. These are releasing on Wednesday. So WednesdayHatClub.com, 2 p.m. Eastern. Y'all know the drill. So this is the light blue colorway. And as you can see, it has the Diamondback snake front logo that is white on the inside. It has a light blue shadow in there. And then it has a navy outline. Let me give y'all a closer look at that. And then of course, as you can see, this one actually has embroidery all over the hat. So you have small super bloom flowers all over the hat on this one, and they are multicolor. Lots of different colors in there. White new era flag with the lavender UV and a little surprise that is also new to me, a satin liner. I don't have any hats in my collection right now that have a satin liner. So as y'all can see inside of there, it has a light blue satin liner, which is real different. So first Diamondbacks hat, first hat with a satin liner. I'm adding a lot of first to the collection, but I think that is really cool. That's different. And now that I'm thinking about it, I actually do have a lot of hair underneath these hats. So I wonder if that satin lining will actually not damage my hair as much as the regular fitted hat. Raised Batterman on the back of this one, it's blue and white, and I'm actually gonna try this on because like I said, it is my first Diamondbacks hat, and I wanna see what it's hitting for. All right, I'm back. The hat is themed and curved to my liking. And I don't know, Hat Club, y'all might've started something. Y'all might've started something with sending me this diamond bags. This is, I'm not mad at it. This whole time, I've been thinking that the diamond bags logo was gonna have my head looking crazy. And I'm not mad at this hat at all. It's kind of clean. It's kind of clean. I like the little lavender pop that you get with the sky blue. I might have to start paying more attention to the Diamondbacks hats. Might have to do it. Remember, these do drop on Wednesday, so it's gonna be 2 p.m. Eastern on the Hat Club website. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I will check you out in the next one.